Hi everyone, welcome to 10 on the 10th. This is a collab, uh, open collab this year, hosted by Metal Scrap and Chick here on YouTube. And the idea is to make about 10 cards or so each month uh, so that you're ready for the holidays. So last month I was working on using up this paper pad, but I didn't quite get there. I had eight pool sheets left and some cut aparts like this, which these are still left. And um, here's what I have left of um, cut aparts from, I think I had one big sheet. That's where these came from because these were not in here. I have a few scraps. I have some of the cut aparts and honestly, the ones that are left I mean, they're more scrapbooking related, and I don't do that, at least not at this point. I mean, maybe I could use the magic of Christmas. I could use the back of these, but I'm probably not going to save any of these scraps because I'm done. <laughs> in fact, I was really not in the mood for making um, Christmas cards this month at all because today actually is Easter when I'm filming this. Anyway, and I've been in Easter mode, but I also last month said, oh, I still have these cards and envelopes Christmas assortment that went with this is the um, candy cane lane and this doesn't say that on here but it was sold like it went with it and it was the exact same colors so I used all six of those plus I made one other card and these are let's see this one mm, and now I'm gonna get this wrong okay these three were sort of an A2, but not exactly. They were five and a half, but they were only like four and an eighth instead of four and a quarter. They were a little off. So I had to cut the paper a little weird. And then this one is a taller one. It doesn't look like that on here, but it is. This is like a slim, mini slim line. And then this is like a little note card, but I did them all. I used as much paper as I could but I had enough large scraps left that I actually made one other card too. And also I finished um, this Puffy Icon stickers. So that one big one is gone, but I do still have some of these bits of Christmas shape sprinkles, some of the Oak Christmas tree, quite a few of those, and all of the Candy Cane Lane. So I'll save those. And I also am saving one of the sheets, two of the sheets, were little tags you could cut apart. And I did use quite a few. I had some left over, plus I cut apart another sheet, which gave a lot. I don't remember how many. I'm saving them because I could use them as tags, actually. But all these scraps and things, I'm, I'm probably, I'm not, I'm probably not going to save. So let me show you what I made using the cards and envelopes from the kit first. So here was the first one I did. This, um, this was just a piece of paper cut five and a quarter by, uh, it might have been like three and three, three and seven eighths to get it, the border right. And that um, circle I had actually last month cut with a scallop circle die out of here so it is this and I just turned it so that the stripes were going this way I brought in some real red ribbon from Stampin' Up that uh, I guess it's current but I think it's retiring soon which is okay by me I I don't really like it it's too I don't like the crinkliness of it and then I did use a punch um, I was gonna just use a circle but I didn't like it and this was a little bigger. This is the decorative circle punch from Stampin' Up! And I think that's still current. I just punched it out of white cardstock and then I went around the edges with my blending brush, one of them, um, with Stampin' Up!'s Balmy Blue ink because I didn't like the starkness of the white and it brought some of the blue back in from here and also here. Just used these two Santas. Santa's on his way. Um, this red under here is a piece of um, one of the papers and it was just a half inch strip and I put one of those cut apart Santa Claus is coming and um, a little red heart and um, three 
red rhinestones which are retiring I've heard I haven't seen a catalog so I don't know for sure but I've heard that and then inside I did just put another strip on um, a five and a quarter by probably three and seven eighths yeah because I had it at five and a quarter by four and I had to trim it down a little bit and then I just stuck one of the puppy icon things in there so that's the first part and I put Santa on the envelope and also another strip of the paper I decorated the envelope so that's number one let me put these over here number two um, this is actually not plain white it's got a pattern on it sort of tone on tone pale gray snowflakes on sort of a white background and then I took um, another piece of pattern paper with all the holly berries on it and I used excuse me <clears throat> I used one of the scallop contour dies from Stampin' Up! I used two of them these two this one I die cut some of that paper out and here I used um, actually I think I used this remember I'm using up those papers I didn't know what to do with out of a 12 by 12 pack yeah I used that and then that particular die has slots so I took some of um, Stampin' Up's Parakeet Party is the name of it this shiny ribbon um, I think it's only current till May 20 something I'm not sure um, you'd have to check with your demo and then I did put another little reindeer gem on and a little green dot from the the doodle bug design things and then three little hearts I just thought they added something to the margin over here instead of having that plain whitish look and it's on this really bright green so it brought out the green in here again just a strip there strip on the envelope with another reindeer and I think that's all on that one yep so if you want to use your paper decorate your envelopes so then I had this paper um, I had this one red sheet and I used it for a lot of different things you'll see it again on the next card I used it on here because there was a piece you know where the top is when you pull it out of the out of the pad it had some of that glue stuff on it but part of it didn't so that's where I got this from and then this was another strip from it this was one of the cut aparts and these were three of those tag cut aparts I used that same parakeet party ribbon here I wrapped it around the back of this sheet and taped it well I didn't tape it down right away um, and then I used the same kind of ribbon but it's supposed to be sweet sorbet only it looks different to me anyway um, I tied I made a loop and then I tied a knot and I made it so the knot didn't go tight to the tag and then I taped the knot down on the back of the tags and then I, I slid them onto this ribbon and then I taped down the second uh, side and these are just like they're dangling on a clothesline or just a home special delivery and for you and because that was yellow I brought in the Merry Christmas to all well the card is yellow actually and then I put a green and a yellow present because they were some of the last I think oh and this blue one on the envelope the only thing these particular candy canes don't have any going the other way where those little ones I didn't open yet um, do they have some going both directions but I used them anyway and a heart and inside has a strip of this paper on the top and I think oh and I do have one on the front of the card as well it wasn't enough for the flap so I did it that way instead so that's number three then those three were all that same five and a half by four and an eighth they were cut a little not a two size anyway just about a two but not quite then see this is much taller so here's I had two sheets of this pink so I used a lot of it uh, one sheet on this one and um, yeah I think all right, we'll get to the rest of it later here's more of that red 
so that I think I was using that pretty much I used a strip here strip here this was a big piece no I think I used the last piece of it on the last card I did took three of those tags and just cut this into a tag shape and punched it this was left over from that card and I decided just to put it on there to break up all the pink um, and then for gems I have three trees three hearts because the background has hearts on it and then here I did a snowflake because it's snowflakes in the background a heart just because that's all I had left and a star to, because this tree has a star and just says ho 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 may your days be merry and bright inside is just another strip of the pink paper and the envelope just has a pink present on it and I think that's it yeah and this is a white seam binding ribbon which is retiring from Stampin' Up and it's a good ribbon to have it makes nice bows you can dye it with your ink um, alcohol markers any color you want it to be I actually had bought an extra a while back and I still have the extra so that yay then here we come with the mini slimline this I think was the second sheet of the pink don't hold me to that and then here this is another sheet of it's in the other part of this white with snowflakes on it and then this was one of those big cut aparts which I was eh, but it's okay I could turn this into a money envelope put a little pocket in here um, and I had one of the little snowflakes on here and it says let it snow and then I just used up some of the different colored gems I don't know what that is on there there um, the heart and the candy didn't really go but I didn't have enough dots and it needed something else so I used the last candy and the last pink heart pink heart goes because it's pink hearts in the background and then just these three little gems and inside I used the one little I guess it's a poinsettia I don't know snowflake a little bit of pink happy holidays and then a snowman with two more candy canes on the envelope for that one and then the little one I just did this um, I had this holly paper I'm trying to remember what was on the back of that uh, let's see if that here okay I didn't use this this pattern for anything so I think this was a scrap and it was the right width already but it was a little I had to cut it down a little bit um I think yeah I think here was the other well I don't know I forget <laughs> I thought it was like that maybe I trimmed off a piece for somewhere I did for the inside here so I think it was the right width and then I I cut off a little piece for there um yeah but it was that long so I just cut it in half and then cut a strip off and then this was the back of one of those um cut apart strips and this was another tag tis the season with the same little flowers on and I had three of those flowers left on the uh, shaped icons or whatever they were called so and inside I already showed you and no decoration on that little envelope and then the one I made that was not from those six envelopes so this is all those six envelopes used up um, was this one so I had more of this paper right here this red again I used and then this I think was the back of that pink maybe let me check yes the pink hearts on the back since I had two sheets of the pink hearts remember um, is this one and this card was wide enough that I could put show the words it's the most beautiful and most wonderful time of the year repeated and then here is the most wonderful time I had to cut off of year of the year and then so I put that on top the red on top the snowflake um, and I don't know what's on the reverse side of the snowflake I forget anyway um, and then I put on a Santa a snowman a present two presents and one little star because that tree has a little star so I just put it on top there so I'd have an odd number 
and I went looking at my card base, my card stock, but I remembered I had a balmy blue card already, a card base already made because I had just put it away in my balmy blue paper stock. On the inside, I used that snowflake background and just put another tag saying Merry Christmas. And on the envelope, just, um, oh, I had a little strip of Santa paper. I thought that kind of went well with it, <laughs> even though it's not the same paper. And um, Santa and two stars. So those are my seven cards. If you want to count that little, this will make a nice little gift um gift card right for to attach to a present and this one could be also our money it might be a money gift really if I put a pocket I could maybe use hmm, I don't know if I have a piece big enough now to well I do if I cut one of these guys down on the back I'll think about that. I don't really like it with the paint. I don't know. I might not. Uh, what's on the back of the... <sighs> I think of... I'll think about it. Maybe this one. But then it might be too small. So I'm thinking about a money pocket in there. I might just use a piece of plain cardstock in either pink or blue. I'll wait and see if Stampin' Up's new bubble bath color will go with this. Although I think I have some other kind of pink from some other company too. Anyway, you get the idea. I hope you enjoyed. Please go check out Metal Scrap and Chick. Use the hashtag down below since it's an open collab. If you use the hashtag, uh, you should be able to find everyone. Um, let me know if you like these. And um, it was basically how to use the last of your paper, your 6 by 6 paper pad. And the attempt is to use up the paper and also use the envelopes and also use some of the stickers that went with it. I still have a few of those left but you know what those don't take up as much room along with these little tags in here uh, as the paper pad the big sheet of stickers and all that and I am out of room so I needed to use them up. So next month will be something different. <laughs> Yay! On to the next paper pad to try and use up, right? And start with it. That's another thing this collab is good at. If you stick with a paper pad for a while anyway, maybe you can use up a few if you have the same problem I do. Uh, I bought so many, you know, starting in, um, well, not only Stampin' Up!, but I have some non-Stampin' Up! paper pads for Christmas, both six by six eight by eight and twelve by twelve and i need to use them and not buy any more christmas paper until i use them because i need to get stuff out of my house thank you so much for watching again sorry for blabbering on and uh, hit the hashtag go find kim metal scrap and chick and anybody else that participated i know there are several who do regularly okay have a wonderful easter uh well you probably already had easter I hope you had a wonderful Easter and ha please have a wonderful spring um, and April and rest of your year. Bye for now. Hugs, love, and peace.